So now I'm going to show you how to quickly model a city using the Map Room plugin in 3ds Max. Uh, so first, you're going to have to download the Map Room plugin, and I'm going to put a link for this in the description below. Uh, so uh, what we want to do is go to uh, 3ds Max, um, and once you've downloaded Map Room, you want to right-click um, here on the toolbar and go to Customize um, to add the Map Room uh, button at the top, which you can see here. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. Um, so under Toolbars, you want to go to Class Tools, and uh, you'll see the Map Room uh, icon. So you just want to simply drag and drop um, anywhere at the top, and you'll see the Map Room button appear. Um, Okay, so let's get um, started. So uh, we're just going to click on the icon to open Map Room. We'll just take a second to open. So uh, when it's open, you're going to see this um, uh, thing appear, um, and we're going to be working in uh, kilometers. Um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, just make sure that your license is activated. Uh, so to do this, you want to go into settings and uh, under license. Um, as you can see here, my license is activated. Um, to activate yours, you just uh, want to copy and paste your product key and um, activate it. So we're going to be working um, with OpenStreetMap layers. And um, we're going to be importing some uh, data from there. Uh, so you just want to click um, OpenStreetMap and Satellite, and you'll see the um, OpenStreetMap, the Map Room layer, um, appear in the viewport here. Um, and you'll also see a Map Room, uh, OpenStreetMap, and Satellite um, appear um, in the Map Room window. So we just want to click this. And the first thing we want to do is update the map space. And you can do this by entering the longitude and latitude, um, or you can simply find location by name. Um, so I'm going to be um, modeling Caulfield in, um, in Melbourne. You can look at location and it will uh, find it. So I'm just going to double click to select this one and update the map space. Okay, so next um, we want to go into OSM001 um, in order to add uh, the layers. So first, you want to um, select the area um, in which you, uh, the area that you want to model. And I just want to model five kilometers by five kilometers. So I'll five by five. Um, and under OpenStreetMap type, uh, you'll see that um, uh, building has been uh, is the only layer that's selected by default. Uh, so I just want to add um, building heights, um, highways, and uh, routes and natural. And if you want to add um, trees and bus stops, you can include point data here as well. Um, but I'm just going to draw um, this data, and you also want to make sure that ground plane is um, is selected here. So I'm going to download and draw OSM data. And this will just take a second. And you'll see it downloading at the bottom here. Okay, so once that's done, you can just uh, zoom in to uh, this point and you'll see that the data has been drawn. Okay, so now uh, what I would like to do is um, add 3D buildings. So uh, in order to do this, um, we want to apply a style sheet. So I'm going to select uh, SYS OSM style sheet and um, then simply apply style sheet to add building heights. And again, this will take a minute. And um, once um, once this is uh, finished loading, you'll know that it's complete. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, the, um, the roads have been filled in, the buildings have been drawn. 
Um, there you go. That's how you um, very quickly and easily model a city um, using the Mapform plugin in 3ds Max.